everybody and welcome back to Mac Gaming Revolution. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can play Kenshi on your Apple Silicon Mac and show you how the game performs. Well, without further ado, let's get right into it. First, in order to play Kenshi, you're going to need a software called Crossover. Crossover is a compatibility layer that essentially allows you to run Windows games on your Mac. In order to get Crossover, you're either going to have to purchase a license for it or try the 14 day free trial. I'm going to have a link to the Crossover website in the description, or you can just go to codeweavers.com store. Additionally, you can also try running um, Kenshi through Whiskey, which is a free option. I haven't tried this before, and I don't know how performant it will be, as Whiskey is essentially crossover, but a few updates behind. So I don't know if it will work exactly. If there's enough popular demand, I will try to run it through Whiskey. But yeah, for now, this tutorial is solely crossover based. Once you've purchased crossover and are downloading it, you can head on over to Steam or GOG to purchase a copy of Kenshi. Steam is the preferred option I've found as it's just more convenient. So you're simply just gonna want to scroll down here, add to cart, and then purchase the game. Once you have crossover purchased and installed, you're going to want to navigate down to this little install button down here, this little blue one. Click on that, and then simply search up Kenshi. Right here. Now, if you got the game from Steam, it'll just install it by Steam. And if you got it from GOG, you're going to want to download the installer from GOG and then select the file itself using this option selected installer. And for this, you're going to want to create a new bottle. I already have one and it's trying to auto install it in that one, but just create a new bottle. You're going to want to make a Windows 10 64 bit and yeah, just push done. Once you push install, it's going to download and install the Windows version of Steam, and then it's gonna download and install the Kenshi into the Windows version of Steam. And another thing I've found in bottle settings over here, if you have any of these things enabled, it sometimes can mess with download speeds. So just don't screw with any of this stuff. Don't turn on D through D metal or M sync until you have everything all downloaded. Because not always, but sometimes I've found it can make the game or like make game downloads sort of lag and stall right before actually completing it. It just takes forever and sometimes it doesn't even work. However, when you do have the game installed, Steam installed and everything, you're going to want to enable D through D metal and M sync. These two settings I have found make the game the most performant. Once you have Kenshi downloaded and installed, you should have a screen that looks like this with just a green play option. Simply press play. Now a setup screen should appear and you're just gonna want to basically for low end Macs like the one I have, a uh, eight gigabyte um, baseline MacBook Pro, all my specs are in the description. You're simply going to want to run with these settings. Keep resolution pretty low. Um, there isn't really any other options for this. Same with uh, Direct3D, you know, so just Stick with all the, the default stuff it does. You can turn on VSync if you want. I keep it off, it doesn't. I think it affects performance a little bit if you have it on, so. you If if the screen tearing is really an issue for you, then you can simply turn it on. After that, you're just gonna wanna click play and Kenshi should boot up. Additionally, here are the graphics settings I am using. Feel free to copy these down and use them yourself. With this, I'm getting around a solid 60 plus FPS, honestly, on the lowest end MacBook Pro. So yeah, if you want, copy down all these settings, do something like that, and you should, your game should be performing very well. Now we are on the Kenshi home screen. I'm going to leave you guys here with this and just give you some gameplay footage. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay.